To tell you the truth, I don't think I'm very good company for you. We've had a good time. <laughs> That's a trouble. It also happens to be my birthday. Oh, why didn't you tell me that? Oh, I didn't want to sound like I was doing a guilt trip on you. <laughs> Mind you, here I am looking for pity. <laughs> well, maybe sounds like you need cheering up. Yeah, I'd be to go. It's getting kind of difficult. What's difficult about it? You know, do I have to spell it out to you? Hey, don't go, please. I know all the reasons why we shouldn't. But what about the reasons why we should? about you. You've known for ages. You feel the same too. <laughs> yes, but I mean it's... You're what's kept me going through Danny's illness for ages. Come on. It'd be so... Oh, I don't know. We deserve it, don't we? Don't, Rob. Stay, please. <sighs> You're going, aren't you? Good day, Dick. Ray, come on in. Great talking to you this morning, mate. Felt like I was really back there. Know what I mean? Yeah, got a beer? Yes, I've uh, some in the fridge. Remember those stories about old Shorty? What he used to do to the guys after the hot extraction exercises? I <laughs> mean. He was all right, though. Ah, we saw a lot of action and knew he'd that. Probably had the best of it before your time. Christ. I remember one day. It was this dozy gang of gook snipers trying to pick us off. Cheers. Saw them coming. Blew them away before they got in a mile of us. Yeah, well, a few skirmishes around the camp when I was there, but nothing like that. Oh, in my day, most of the action was right on top of us. Luscombe Field, Nui Dat Hill. How did you see them coming from so far away? Silly buggers didn't have any cover, did they? Not a tree in sight. Now we tracked them from the radio hut on the hill. Boom. Yeah? When I was there, we had a ton of cover. Rubber trees, as far as you could see. Oh, things grow pretty fast in the tropics, mate. And you were there in 68? Uh, a bit earlier. Yeah. Are you sure about the radio hut? Yeah, yeah, why? Our unit built it. No. No, it was out there already. <laughs> and maybe it got blown away and you guys put in a new one now. Maybe. Mind you, I wasn't there long. Got caught away. Special duties in Saigon with the Yanks. <laughs> I thought you got sent home early. Injured. No, it was later. Copped it in the head. Mm. And whose credit card is that on? Mine, and you can't see it until tonight, so don't ask. Yeah, the horrors of getting hitched, it's all flooding back. I suppose you're going to send me to Mum and George's for the day. Shame they're away. May love's a wedding. Oh, do you think she'd approve? Oh, does it matter? This is for us. I wish Jonathan wasn't in Melbourne. Oh, hey, you can't expect him to cancel a rugby trip just to come home and see his mum and dad make fools of themselves. Is that what you think we're doing? No, no, of course not. But Jonathan would. <laughs> you nervous? <laughs> a bit. You don't mind if some of the clinic come, do you? Uh, I told you, the more the merrier. More, please. Mills, there is an old and esteemed custom called knocking on doors before you enter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll see you. I'm taking your daughter shopping. You can go halves. Are you going to come tonight, Steve? Yeah, I thought I might be going there. Good. OK. So, uh, what can I do for you? Dr McKenna, we've got a crisis on our hands. Oh, yes. I have, in my own time and at my own expense, done an extensive survey of staff in order to ascertain individual Stress levels. No one is in the pink. Pink? Have a look. 
I've colour coded the results. Anyone in the red group has unacceptable levels of stress. Who's this blue one? Um, that's Gina Rossi. She doesn't count. Oh, it's just very scientific. Thank you. I've also come up with a solution. Which is? Stress management workshops. Ah, conducted by your good self, I presume. Well, organised by me, but of course we'll get a professional facilitator in it. Yes, and funded by me. Hmm. Now, is that a good idea or is it a good idea? Uh, Steve, I think I'll conduct my own survey first, just to see how many of the staff are interested before I commit my money to it. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I've already had inquiries from some of the worst afflicted. I'll get you all the proof you need. <sighs> Makes me feel weird, all this stuff around. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hey. Look at me. Let's just enjoy it while we can, OK? Mm. It'll catch up with us soon enough. Mm, so they're not going to have a priest or anything? No, Danny, it's not a real wedding. It's a reconfirmation of their vows. Well, how are they going to do it, though? I mean, they're going to need someone for the ceremony. Why don't you offer? You could do a little priest now. <laughs> Get real. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Caroline. Thanks for yesterday. You are a very forthright young man. What was all that about? Ah, uh, nothing. Just a friend of Mum's. Well, I better go. I'm going shopping tonight. Make a spend anything I want. Cool. Cheer up, Ratface. Miss Burton, you wanted to talk. I've come to apologise. I won't be taking the business over Master's death any further. Well, it's a bit of a turnaround. I suppose it is, really. I'm sorry for everything I put you through. It's taken me a while to accept the inevitable, I suppose. But Miles's death was no one's fault but his own. We would have saved him if we could. But we didn't have the correct information about the drugs he'd taken. You know all that, though. Well, the fact of the matter is I don't. Don't worry, it has nothing to do with you. I was thinking about things last night, trying to put some sort of perspective on it, when suddenly it struck me, what was really bugging me. My brother died from an overdose of the sort of tablets that we take every day, every time we have a headache. And headache tablets, for God's sake. How's this possible? Look, I have to go back to the clinic now, but if you want to come with me, I have some information you may very well be interested in. Thank you. There is still something I want to sort out, though, and it's not to do with why he died, but how. What do you mean? Carrie's given me some information about the tablets that Miles took on the potential dangers of these drugs. Yes, but remember that any form of pain relief is perfectly safe when it's used as prescribed. But like all drugs, it's dangerous when it's used in quantity or over an extended time. Then it destroys the liver, right? That's right. Well, what about this antidote I've been reading about? Acetylcysteine? Um, yeah, it stops anything from adhering to the liver by dissolving it in the bloodstream. You can keep that if you like. And there's no liver damage? None at all. Then why don't they put it in the tablets when they manufacture them? Well, some drug companies use an antidote called methionine, but it does cost. Money, of course. Hey, look, I'm with you on this one. You know, if someone jumped up and down about this and shouted loud enough, the drug companies would have to listen. Well, it's worth a try. Exactly. But these are very powerful entities, Caroline. All the more reason why they should face up to their responsibilities. And maybe if I can get them to do that, then Miles won't have died for nothing. Good luck. You'll need it. Me? What about them? Well, the right is fine. Oh, left's the worst, mate. That's the side I got the blasting. Burst eardrum. Yeah, hanging half of my head. Well, a bit of scarring. Oh, bloody gooks. But the eardrum's not burst, though. Yeah? Well, how come I can't hear properly? Well, that's what we're going to find out. I think we should make an appointment for you to see the audiologist, all right? May as well. I want to get this combo sorted out quick. Excuse me. I wondered if I could have a word while Ray's still here. Sure. How's it going? Fine. Um, 
A little bit of a mystery, though. The Army's just faxed through your record. But there's no mention of your service in Vietnam. Eh? Well, give us a look. Oh. Makes sense. Oh, I was on special duties. Top secret stuff. The Army's not going to stick that in here, are they? What, what are you doing poking your nose in my records anyway? Until we have confirmation of your service, we can't apply for compensation. Are you saying you don't believe me? Well, what do you guys know? You wouldn't have a dog show of knowing what I went through out there. I thought all right, mate. You want to see the plate in my head? No, right, it's OK. I was top level. I risked my life for my country. You know what you can do with this? Stick it. Ah, good. Uh, people. Um, Alex and I are having a party at Kennedy's tonight, so if you're not busy, we'd love for you to come. Oh, a party? Your birthday? Uh, no, no, no. It's... It's uh, just a function. Eight o'clock. Must be important. Kennedy's isn't cheap. Yeah, they're having a commitment ceremony. A what? You know, they're going to reconfirm their wedding vows in front of family and friends. That is so romantic. After all this time, they want to commit themselves all over again. Commit? Themselves. Sounds like they're ready for the loony bin. Oh, well, you know, marriage, loony bin, it's the same thing, isn't it? Why can't they get married again properly in a church like normal people? Victor, how are those mean digits of yours today, man? On the mend? Oh, I think so. Still a bit sore. This will cheer you up. Went through my collection. Chose these specially. A slayer, napalm death, day glow abortions. Oh, they're cool as. Some of these dudes see they're classically trained. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Be able to pick up a few tips. I'm sure. Hey, listen, thanks, Nick. This will certainly extend my musical horizons a bit. Thought it would. But if you're going to stage dive, you'll have to land on your good arm. What'd the doc say about it? Uh, he's pretty optimistic, yeah. He says I'll play again. If the police ever find my violin. Can I help you, sir? I need to talk to you, mate, now. Ah, uh, just a minute, Ray. Same again. Thanks. Some kind of cover-up going on. You've got to help me, Dad. Well, just hang on a minute, will you, Ray? Have a seat. They're Cheers. saying I never served. There's a vendetta going down against me. Listen, Guy's doing all he can. Yeah? You're part of it, aren't you? They're giving you the tip-off. You've been talking to those boys in Wellington. I don't know what you're on about, Ray. You got a beer? Just, just a minute, will you? I thought you might be interested in this. You recognize anyone? In the back row there. It's Shorty. Oh, yeah, so it is. Shorty, yeah. Geez, I'd recognize a little bugger anywhere. Big bugger. He was six foot three, and that's him in the front. You trying to catch me out? It was bloody years ago. There's some things I don't remember. You don't remember because you were never there, Ray. You never went to Vietnam. I don't need this from you! What kind of a soldier are you? Bloody communist! You spread lies about me. You're dead meat. Guy, have you seen Ray today? Uh, no, not since this morning. He had an appointment with Dr. Ropata, which he walked out of. What about his counselling session this afternoon? Did he show up? No. I was just going to ring him. Why? I've just got home from work and the kid said he's been acting really aggro. He's been going through his boxes of old army gear in the shed. I was supposed to get in there tea, but he's nicked off instead. Have you tried the RSA? He's not there. Guy, I'm worried he's going to do something stupid. OK, are there any places we can phone round? Um, where else does he drink? Well, there's a couple of pubs. Okay, look, I'll give this to Kirsty, then I'll give you a hand ring around, all right? Look, thanks. But he seems to blame me for all this. I'd rather do it myself. Well, you know where I am. Give me a ring if he doesn't turn up. Honey, what makes voice to you? I don't know why, but I'm terrified. <laughs> you shouldn't be. You look lovely. Thank you. Yeah, you scrub up all right, Mum. Oh, it's high praise from you, darling. Nearly time. You nervous? Seems our friend Ray's gone AWOL. You haven't seen him, have you? Yeah, it was in a while ago. Wound up like a top. Did he say anything to you? Yeah. Well, he's all part of some sort of vendetta. 
He never served, that's for sure. Well, his record may have been squashed, especially if he's in the Secret Service. <laughs> Believe me, matey, he wasn't. That guy's a few feathers short of a budgie, and I do not want to know. Can I have your attention, please? Here we go. Get out your hankies. Oh, <laughs> As you all know, tonight's little gathering is more than just a party. We're here to celebrate the triumph of hope over experience. <laughs> 18 years ago today, Alex and Michael walked down the aisle, a vision of innocence, purity and joy. It's true, I've seen the photographs. <laughs> In the intervening years, they've had two children, two flourishing careers and one divorce. So nobody's perfect. <laughs> Tonight, they're going to celebrate their reconciliation by affirming their vows for family and friends. Michael and Alex. <laughs> You first. Don't do this to me. I'm warning you. This is your last chance. Problem. It's down again. It's nothing. Yeah, mine's been playing up today too. Mercury's in retrograde. That's why. It's the worst alignment for technology. It stuffs up communications. I didn't know you were into astrology. Yep, I do computer printed charts. I used to think it was a load of old rubbish. But then I had a relationship with an astrologer. He won me round. Not that I won him. Right from the start, he said we were incompatible, opposing sun signs, everything. So, after we split up, I thought there must be something in it. Did an astrology course. Oh, which one? I, I did a beginner's course last year. It was so neat. I'd love to do another one. Yeah, this one's at the Coromandel. Oh, it's fabulous. I've got the number here somewhere. Do you want me to look at that now? No, no, this is between me and him. I'll be in first thing. Here we go. Ask for Peter. Can't remember his last name. OK, night. And I love you, Michael. I admire and respect you as the father of our children. But I promise to stay by your side as wife, friend and lover. Right, OK. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Alex, we've been through some rough times. And it's no mean feat holding a marriage together and resisting all of the pressures. But we're lucky. We've rediscovered our affection for each other. I love you, Alex. I love Rachel and Jonathan. And I promise that I will be there always. Um, I'd like to thank you all for coming and I know that all of your good wishes and your friendship will see us through to a good and happy future together. <laughs> Alex and Michael, I declare you committed. <laughs> Everyone, raise your glasses to Alex and Michael. Alex, Alex and Michael. <laughs> so, how'd we do? Oh, pretty good for you guys. So, um, how's it going there, Sunshine? A good party, huh? Yeah. You see Meredith before she left? Uh, briefly. How was she? On another planet. No go, huh? No go. So, how about coming over for dinner next week, eh? Try out the doctor's hot chili special. Yeah, you're on. Okay, man. Keep smiling. So, uh, where's this little special bottle of champagne you've got hidden away? I think I deserve one tiny, tiny glass. Uh, all right. Hang on there, I'll be back in a second. All the best, all the best. Congratulations, Max. And I reckon you two have got what it takes. And that's the astrology course for next week. Great. Uh, put my name down and I'll send a check. Thanks, I'll see you then. Bye. Oh, you're looking very pleased with yourself. I've just enrolled in an astrology course for next week. Holiday problem solved. Must have been in the stars. <laughs> Special delivery. Oh, yum. How'd it go? Not a dry eye in the house? Mm, it was very moving. Mm, I bet. Thanks for sticking it out here. Any messages? Oh, uh, no. Um, hi, I can help you. Yes, I'm looking for a Mr. Brook. I understand he's a patient here. Oh, well, our computer's down at the moment, but um, I think he's in Ward 2. And uh, which way is that? Well, actually, it's past visiting hours. Um, can I take a message for him for the morning? No, I'll come in myself. About 9 o'clock? Yeah, that's fine. What happened? Well, his house has been broken into. Really? It must be some kind of jinx. That's the second patient this week we've had burgled. It's a bit of a coincidence. Yeah, you guys are looking into the other one already. What name was that again? Oh, Shadbolt. Victor Shadbolt. 
Thanks. Hi there, Dreamer. Oh, hi, Carrie. You're great. Oh, blame Toastmistresses for that. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that look on Jackie Manu's face for a long time. What look? Oh, the look that says I'm dreaming of a fella. A fella's eyes, a fella's arms, a fella's warmth. Carrie. Come on, spit it out. Who is it? No one. Miss Manu, I'm not going away until you tell me. <laughs> There's nothing to tell. No, it's just started and it's way too complicated to last anyway. Oh, that's hardly the right attitude. I'm just being sensible. Well, don't be too hard-headed. Sometimes your heart knows best. Not this time. Hmm. Well, hang in there. I better go and find my man, see what he's up to. Go, Ray. Why don't you believe me? Why don't you believe I was there? Because you weren't. Let's face it, mate. The most of us that were there just want to forget about it. It was the pits. Thank God it's over. I was there. I was bloody there. It was the best time of my life. It was the best time I ever had. All my mates, we stuck together. We were the best team they ever sent. You're gonna tell me I'm lying about that, eh? Are you? Come on, mate, come to the bar, I'll give you a drink. Come on. You talk down to me. What's your rank, officer? Shut up. You guys are the liars. You're lying about me. It's gonna stop. Ray, it doesn't matter, all right? The war's over. I don't give a stuff whether you're served or not. Don't you? Reckon this could convince you, eh? A little beauty. Make a real mess of you, these. You still reckon I never went? Come on, Kennedy, where's that? Carrie, don't <laughs> Yesterday's another was just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall says I'll be shining and straight If you want to find a way of searching for another world It's hard to see Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee so you can see more of New Zealand on air.